Hey, what's up guys? Coach Bobby here. Welcome back to my video series 45 till 45, uh, finishing up with the final installment of my daily uh, intake schedule, my daily nutrition schedule. So we're at Sunday now and we've gone through the whole week and we've had some ups, hopefully not too many downs, if any, and we've made progress toward our goal. All right. So as I've said before, I'm not trying to promote that we don't have any enjoyment. So the weekends are spent um, managing our glucose levels, right? Trying to enjoy ourselves, trying to relax, but not to a point that we overextend and fill up our capacity for glucose storage, uh, forcing our body to store fat. And also we wanna make sure that we are prepared and put our body in a position so that the following week, starting Monday, we can move toward getting back into position to burn fat, all right? So Sundays, um, for the most part, are a wild card day, right? And they change depending on a few things, how I, how I ate Saturday and Friday, uh, if and when I worked out and how intensely, um, what I weighed uh, Saturday and Sunday morning. Uh, all those things will determine uh, what I eat and how I eat. Uh, but again, usually I'm trying to enjoy myself. I go into the weekend planning uh, to enjoy myself in terms of what I eat. So usually a Saturday night, Sunday morning, uh, my glycogen storage is fairly high, right? It's fairly high, meaning that Sunday I have to make sure I manage the intake of my glucose, right? I'm not going to work out on Sundays typically. I did that Saturday so that I can enjoy Saturday night. But because I put some more glucose back in my system, now it's higher. So uh, depending on how high it is, again, will determine how I eat on Sunday, right? I'm relaxing, I'm resting my muscles, getting prepared uh, for the week ahead in terms of exercise. But glucose storage is important. So uh, typically what I'll do is I'll make sure I wake up um, around between 8 and 10. So I sleep in uh, on Sundays uh, between 8 a.m. and 10 a.m., Depending on what's going on that day, I'll have my my same thing, my same start to my mornings every single day. So water and keto OS, right? Water and ketones will give my body immediate nourishment, immediate fuel uh, to stave off any hunger, uh, physiological hunger, and, and any temptation, right? So again, depending on what I ate and, and where I'm at glucose levels, uh, that will start uh, what is the extended fast, right? So I, I slept overnight, which was fasting, obviously, and I wake up and I wanna go at least 12 to 14 hours on any day, but Sunday, it may be longer depending on where I was at, right? Weight-wise, what I ate, how late I ate, um, how I trained, all those things factor into how long I wanna extend this BTY or quasi fast, all right? So between 8 a.m. and 10 a.m., I wake up, have my water and my ketones, and then I'll try to extend that. If I'm sore from, from the workouts, from the, from the week uh, behind me, I'll extend that, that window a little bit uh, by, by drinking part of my ketones and then adding a scoop of BCAs. And I'll take that out another hour or two. So usually between the combination of the water, the ketones, and the BCAs, uh, I can get to noon pretty easily on a Sunday without having intake of any other food, right? Let alone carbohydrates. So I can normally get to noon pretty easily, right? With just the water, the ketones, and if necessary, the BCAs. So now we're at 12. Uh, that's at least 12 hours, Right, you, you know, if, if you factor in the fact that I probably ate uh, between my last meal on a Saturday night between 10 and 12. Again, we're out, we're having fun. You know, you may be home watching a movie or at the movies or at dinner. So you're going to eat later than usual, probably on a Saturday. For me, no later than t uh, midnight um, and probably between 10 and midnight. So let's say it's midnight. So 12 o'clock the following day, noon, I'm already at 12 hours. Right. If it's 10 o'clock, I'm at I'm at 14 hours. If it's 10 p.m., my last meal, uh, noon the next day is is 14 hours. So at the very least, the water, the ketones, and the BCAs can get me to noon. So at least 12 hours. Uh, so now we're at a point where we're trying to determine what to do next. 
okay? If I plan to eat carbs at dinner, like usually our, our Sundays, our family hamburger and fries nights. Um, so if I plan on doing hamburgers and fries at about 7 p.m., then I want to make sure that I don't add any glucose before that. So my breakfast or lunch or whatever my meal might be, uh, if anything, uh, probably cannot and won't be carbohydrates, knowing that I'll have carbohydrates later that afternoon, early evening. So depending on what I'm going to eat that day, what I'll probably do on a Sunday is follow up the water and the ketones and possibly the BCAs with Bulletproof Coffee, right? The fat in the Bulletproof Coffee will satiate me, will keep my fuel levels high enough so I don't get hungry or tired or lethargic and stave off any hunger pains or, or hunger cues that might come to me. So that should take me out a few more hours, usually till about 2, 3, even 4 o'clock some days, okay? So once you get to that point, you know, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, now we're in the 14 to 16 to 18 hour window of, of quasi-fasting, of fasting with water, ketones, and bulletproof coffee only. And now, hopefully, you've gotten your glycogen and glucose storage levels low enough to where you can enjoy something that you like to eat early evening of Sunday night, right? And also not get into a position where you're unable to burn through that on a Monday. So me knowing my body, I kind of know what it's going to take for me to burn through on Monday and what level I want to, I, I don't want to get to. And also I know what's too high uh, that will force my body to, to store fat. So again, we're trying to wake up Sunday and depending on what we did Saturday, that determines how long we fast. I suggest you guys try to get to noon every Sunday because most of us are going to have fun on Saturdays. Most of us are going to have some fun Sunday afternoon, evening in terms of what we eat. So I suggest you guys try to fast um, as long as you can Sunday morning. Again, 8 to 10 a.m. is when I have my first water and ketones. And then BCAs after that, that should get me to about noon at which point I, I do bulletproof coffee to get me to 2 o'clock or 3 o'clock p.m. And then all bets are kind of off, right? At that point, I can enjoy uh, what I want. We're not trying, guys. We're not trying to burn fat on a Sunday, necessarily. That's going to be difficult, right? Me, after, after you've either worked out early Saturday or not at all and then enjoyed the benefit of working out Saturday by having some glucose, it's going to be very hard on a Sunday for most people to get through those glycogen storage stores on Sunday to where your body's burning fat. So we're not trying to burn fat necessarily on a Sunday. We do, however, not want to get to the point where it's full and our body store fat, right? So at the, at the very least, we're trying to defend against fat storage and prep our body uh, for fat burning in the following week. So we don't want to get our levels too high where Monday's workout won't get us down to glycogen depletion, okay? So that's kind of what we're doing. And, and, and that's all made easier if we're able to extend the fasting window, right? And reduce the amount of time that we are susceptible to eating too much glucose, all right? So my, my schedule on a Sunday, again, between 8 a.m. and 10 a.m., water and ketones, right? After that, if I'm sore or want to extend that window longer, then I'll go uh, BCAs right right away. Uh, that should get me until noon, right? At noon, I do my Bulletproof coffee, and I'll sip that for a few hours. And then at 2 or 3 is when it's kind of open season to have what I want to have. Um, the longer I can go without eating uh, glucose, the better. But I'm not going to be uh, constrained by any... any uh, restrictions in terms of what I eat at that point. I've gone long enough. Now it's a matter of not eating too much, not a whole lasagna, not a whole pizza, not five sandwiches, not 20 cookies, so that the next day I'm able to hit the gym and burn through glycogen and then be ready to burn fat starting Tuesday morning. All right, so hope that was helpful. Uh, again, Sunday's a wild card day. Uh, we're trying to not get fatter and then be in position starting Monday to get back on track. All right, guys, as always, hope that was helpful. If not, uh, or if, if you have more questions about anything, please feel free to ping me or message me, um, and hopefully we can um, begin to understand that it's about routine and about scheduling and about having 
and an idea of what you're going to do, when you're going to do it, and how all of that kind of works together. All right, guys, until next time, Coach Bobby signing off saying, BTY, better than yesterday. Take care. Bye.